Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hold a baby blessing ritual or a baby name ceremony for pagans and Wiccan. In many cultures, it is traditional not only to bless a new baby, but to present them to the goddesses and gods of the family. Although goddesses and gods of the household have probably been aware of this new arrival, it's a good idea to perform a formal presentation by intro by incorporating the ceremony with a baby's blessing, the children baby blessing. The child is joined to both the earth and the heavens at the same time. This should be done fairly soon after the ba after the baby's arrival so the goddesses and gods of the home can begin forming a relationship with the new family member. You may choose to do this in a tan in a tandem with a name ceremony or have it be a separate celebration. It is up to you whether you'd like to have guests present or not. Many families see this time when the baby comes home as a time in which privacy is valued. While, uh, while for others it is a time for family gathering gatherings. Go with whichever option works best for your family needs. If you, you'd like some peace and quiet after bringing the baby home, have a blessing ceremony before the parents and the siblings only, and then invite family and friends to a name ceremony later on. Ideally, you can offer the baby uh, forms of blessings by the household goddesses and gods as the child enters the home for the first time. But realistically, you can do it any time that the whole family is up for it. Stand outside of your home on the front step holding the baby. Everyone present on the front front porch step holding the baby. Baby, everyone present should hold hands, parents, sibling, etc. and surround. Whoever is holding the baby, say Goddesses and gods of our home, goddesses and gods of our heart, today we present to you with someone new. She or he is a member of our family and this is his or her new home. We ask you to welcome him or her. We ask you to love her. We ask you to protect him. We ask you to bless them. Have a cup of water, juice, or something to drink at the door before entering the, ha the home past the cup, sunrise, clockwise, wise, <laughs> and around the group, and each person drinks, they should say, Welcome, baby, to our new home. May the goddesses and the gods love you as much as we do. Once the cup has made its round, touch a drop of the liquid to the baby's lip, open the door, and step outside. Go to um, the family altar or shrine, the circle, and circle it. Have everyone hold hands surrounding whoever is holding the baby and say, Goddesses and gods of our home, goddesses and gods of our heart, today we present with you someone new. She is a member of our family and this is his home. Whatever, watch over her as she grows. Watch over him as he lives. Watch over them at, with love. Pass the cup one more time, each person offering the blessing as they sip. Once the cup has returned, touch a drop of the liquid to the baby's lip. Leave the altar overnight as the offering to your household gar guardians. In the morning, take the cup outside to the front door and pour anything that's left onto the ground as an offering to the spirits of the outdoor in your house. How to hold a naming ceremony for your Wiccan or Pagan baby. Once your child has been blessed by the household gar guardians, you may still want to have a ceremony to introduce your new baby to extended family and friends. One way to do th this is called a naming ceremony or a Wiccaning. But no matter what you call it, it's the, it's the chance chance to present your baby to the community she or he belongs to. 
Ideally, you should have chosen a name prior to the ceremony. Well, if there is no official pagan, pagan manual for choosing a name, if you want to have a pagan baby name, you may want to read about magical names. There are also great resources for baby names based on different cult cultural associations. Wait until after the baby's umbilical cord has dropped off to perform this ceremony. Prior to that, the baby is still symbolically connected to its mother. Once the cord is gone, the infant can be considered an independent being on his or her own accord. This pr purpose of the naming ceremony is to present the new individual to the community. It ensures that the child is a part of something greater and places the child under a protection of the, those present as part of this. The parents may wish to appoint guardians for their child. This position is similar concept of godparents. When choosing guardians, make certain that they understand this is not the same as a legal guardian, but a symbolic position. Another note, Another note, if you are planning to invite non-pagans to the ceremony, you may want to brief them ahead of time to let them know this is not exactly the same as a Christian baptism. In this ceremony, the parents take on the role of high priestess and high priest. It is their chance. Chan change to, to dedicate themselves and they bind themselves to their child and swear an oath to the new baby. It is their opportunity to tell the child that they will protect them, love them, honor them, and raise them to the best of their abilities. Hold a ritual outside if the weather permits, if not, um, the, an option find a place big enough for everyone you you've invited you may wish to consider renting a hall con con pre con uh, this this is oh can't believe i haven't read my book of shadows in like forever consecrate the entire space beforehand and you can do this by smudging if you like place a sturdy table in the center to use as an altar and put whatever magical tools you normally use upon it. Also, have a hand of cup of milk or soy milk, doesn't have to be cow's milk, uh, water or wine and blessing oil. Invite all guests uh, to form a circle, filling in a uh, filling in sunrise around the altar. If you normally call the quarters, do so. The guardians should take place of honor besides the parents at the altar. Call upon the go goddess or goddesses or gods of your tradition, um, of your tradition, and ask them to join you in the naming of the child. Is a girl her father? Another male a family member should be in the ceremony. If the baby is a boy, his mother should be present. And the leader says, We gather today to bless this a child, a new life has, that has become part of our world. We gather today to name this child, to call this child by name, is to give it power. And to... Uh, and so today we shall give this child a gift. We will welcome him or her into our arms and lives and bless them with a name. The parents, the parents then turn to the guests and say, To be a parent is to love and nurture, to le lead a child, to be a good person. It is to guide them along the right path and to teach them and teach them and learn from them. It is to remain re, it was it's to bring them in and give them wings it is to smile at their joy and weep at their pain it is to walk beside them and then one day allow them to walk alone to be a parent is a great gift we have given ourselves and the greatest responsibility we shall ever have 
The leader, mother or father, shall then turn to the appointed guardian of the child and ask, You stand beside us for the love of this child. Will you tell the goddesses and the gods who you are? Then they should answer, We are, put their name in, and name, chosen to be the guardians of this child. The parents ask, do you know what it is to be a child's guardian? The guardian should answer. It is to love and to nurture, to show guidance and counsel. It is to help a child make choices. Should, should she need assistance or he need assistance? It is to uh, be a second mother and father and to be there when called upon. Place the baby on the altar. You can place a, uh, a car seat or a baby strap in them if you're concerned that they might wiggle around and fall off. The parents use a, the blessing oil to trace the pentagram or other sim uh, symbol of faith, of tradition, and the baby's uh, forehead, on the baby's forehead saying, may the goddess it, goddesses and the gods keep this child pure and perfect and let anything that is negative stay far beyond his or her world tough uh, touch the drop of milk to the baby's lip and say you may always have a good fortune you may you always have good health may you always have be joyful may you always have uh, love in your heart the leader then blesses the oil and traces the pentagram on the baby's chest. You are known to the god and says, You are known to the goddesses and gods and to us as baby's name. You put the baby's name in there. This is, it is your name and it is powerful. Bear your name, honor it, and may the goddesses and the gods bless you on this and every day. The cup of water is passed clockwise or sunrise around the circle as each guest takes a, a sip and they may rise the cup in honor of the baby and simply say, I honor you with the baby's name. As the cup goes around the circle, the parents should hold their child. And when this is over, you should do the same as the ending of the baby blessing where you leave the, uh, the stuff in, on the altar. And then the next day, you dump it out outside for, as an on, as an offering to the goddesses, the gods, and the deities of your home.